Uh, welcome to 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, Corona disease. That's a subject of the day. And a lot of people are concerned and some people are afraid and worried about it. So to me is that every once in a while, uh, different things starts to pop, whether they're man-made or not, whether it's it's something, a kind of a virus that was created in a laboratory and it's put out or was tested on people or something, it just evolved through evolution and a new virus is created. Uh, whatever is the story, however it comes out, it, and the way I, I look at it is that I trust life. I trust existence that whatever happens to me, wherever I go, if it's an accident or an incident, something that's supposed to happen to me, uh, it's inevitable. I can't change my destiny and I can't change what is meant to happen. So in this kind of a mentality, it comes the trust. You come to this place of trusting that some intelligence that we just touch this intelligence by going into this deep meditation. There is a wisdom for in our lives. There is an intelligence that rules the world and runs the show. There is a creator that has created this creation. It has the knows better, knows better than you and I. And in trusting that, in staying in this place, deep place, that we went just right now, a few moments ago into it, that what can really touch this place? What can really disturb this? And when I'm at this place into the center of myself and I'm completely still, present, connected, what has the power to do anything to it? And certainly coronavirus cannot affect this place because this place is beyond anything, beyond any disease, beyond any kind of manifested form or whatever appears in this life and disappears, whatever threat appears and comes up, what can it do to the truth of who I am? Because the truth of who I am is beyond something that can disturb it. This place we just went into and we all touched it and feel it. It's so deep, so expanded, so radiant that nothing has the power to touch it. And any kind of object, virus, or force, negative, dark force, comes to light, it, it's just like a spaceship is approaching the planet sun. And as you get closer and closer to the sun, you just melt from the heat of the sun. So what can you do to the sun? It overpowers everything else. And the same thing here, when you come to your own center and you tap into the light which is within yourself, then anything else that comes close to it is, is transformed and forces it to transform it, to dissolve it. It forces it to bow at the presence of light because darkness 
cannot exist where there is light. So we remember who we are. We come back to the essence and the truth of who we are. And the fears and the worries, they disappear. And a lot of this whole thing, first of all, a lot of it is hype. A lot of these man-made fears that they create for manipulation and putting this fear out into the space, into the atmosphere, into the air of scaring us from things. This is nothing new. It's been around. This game has been being played for years and years and years. It's not a new game. And for me, it's like the moment I was born was set up and written, and the day I'm supposed to die is written. I've had five near-death experiences, and if I was supposed to die, I would have died. Something was supposed to happen to me and make me dismembered, lose something, my eye, my, my hand, my arm, it would have happened. And it will happen. There's nothing in the world I can do to prevent it, to change its course. What's meant to be is going to happen. That's how I've lived my life. And that's how I live my life. So I don't allow fear which is, I don't allow fear to rule my life. I don't operate from fear. Wisdom is a different thing. Using wisdom, your intelligence available to you to operate with that wisdom and use your common sense, but not fear, not operating from that place. I don't allow that. I don't buy it. And here, for us, the lovers of wisdom, the lovers of God, with having the understanding and the wisdom and the know-how of knowing, recognizing the truth of who you are, that you are light. Whenever you just bring your attention inwards and you touch yourself and you come back to the center of yourself, you are in the full power of the divine self. You have access to all that wisdom, knowledge, and power because you become pure light. So what can do a virus do to the presence of Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul. It's powerless. It has no power. The power of this virus is in creating fear. This kind of virus has been around. People can always die from something. Of course people die from different things. People die every day from accidents, from cancer, from more people die from mistakes that happen in hospitals. Then you're, you're in a clinic, you're in a hospital, you're being hospitalized, and chances that something can happen to you there and something can go wrong is more than if you're at home or you're driving, you're traffic, especially in bu busy cities. You're riding a motorcycle or things like that. Um, don't allow media to paralyze you and create all these kind of anxiety and fear in, in your heart and worry you from connecting to other people, from reaching out to other people, from doing what you love to do.